say the same thing as last time. No, I have not got a problem. I do get things sent to me, what I use, I do give away as a giveaway or to family members and friends. But these are all my markers from water based, alcohol based and we'll go through them today. So this may look chaotic, yes it is, it is chaotic. So we will go through without me dropping everything everywhere. We will go through this drawer. Now this does hold, I need to think of a different solution. Now before I was keeping them in a really large mug and I'm running out of space on my shelf so I'll pop them into an empty drawer. These are the Karen brush markers. Now I use these, you can use these for, I can never say this word, calligraphy, <laughs> graphic designs um, and I use them as watercolours. Now I paint them onto a palette, pick them up with a watercolour brush. I have tried colouring and painting with them directly onto the paper and they do leave, uh, it's quite streaky to be honest, but they're really good used on the palette. As you can see they've got a really nice tip so if you're into the calligraphy, calligraphy, <laughs> these are really really nice markers. They're not cheap as well, they're not cheap. I saw I got one pack, I think it was a skin pack, and then I just went overboard and felt like I needed the whole collection. I think the only ones I'm missing that I'm definitely not buying are the grey sets. Right, I just need to think of a better housing solution for this because this isn't it. It's, it's chaotic, it gives me a headache, it makes me not want to use them because they're not organised. So I don't really want to put them in the pencil case because they're quite thick. Have I got a normal pencil here? Uh, I've got one that's in one of these pencil extenders, but they're a lot thicker. So if you put them in a pencil case, you'd really be tugging at them to get them out. So I do need to think of a different way. You can see through these as well. You can actually see the ink, so how much you've got left. See that bubble going up and down. But really nice markers, but that's the way that I like using them on a palette. So let's pop these back. I keep my little storage container right at the side of me so everything is to hand. So there we go. And that's back. So the other drawer is a mixture of things. I don't think my camera's going to let me pan out. Yeah, it is. So I've got the new uh, Gleestra markers that I did a little review on the channel. I also keep in here, let me just move all these out of the way. That's a cracking glow in the dark one. But I do also keep my Jane Davenport Mermaid markers. I love these, but only use them on single sided colouring pages. Or even better if you've got watercolour paper and you can transfer your images onto them because they do bleed through terribly. Terribly. We have got, let's see, I told you it's a little bit more organised this one. This is my little collection of Spectrum Noir sparkle pens, all sorts of different colours there. Uh, these are the inks. So this ink is basically the same thing that's in the pens, but I bought these for backgrounds so I could cover a larger area just with a paintbrush. And they come with a little ball inside them, a little metal ball. You see it's not mixed up there, but if I just move the ball around, I've probably not chosen the best colours to show you here. But there you go, it's all mixed up there now and it's really, really glittery. So I've got a nice selection of them colours. What else have we got in here? We've got a couple of uh, the Pro brush markers left that I'm wanting to use up. These weren't my favourite, unfortunately. The Windsor and Newton ones, but I'm just going to check. Cause some of them, no, oh, they look alright. I think I've used two of them up. Uh, I'm going to get them used up and I won't be purchasing them again. We've got a couple of the Lamouche ones that should be in this pack so I don't know why they're in here. That's the colourless blender, that one is pearl white and milky white, it's got a couple of skin tones. I used to keep my Copics in a uh, acrylic case but then again I run out of space so I had to pop everything in a drawer so that uh, case is upstairs on top of my wardrobe at the minute until we move and I've got a nice selection of pulpit markers here and I begrudge using these because they're so expensive but I do use them every now and again I would like more in the collection but I just I can't justify 
I much they cost when I do like all that alcohol markers. I wouldn't say just as much because yeah, the culprits are my favourite. But um, yeah, for the price, I've even got a colourless blender there. I don't think I've tried, but I've used all the Lamisha ones loads. Anyway, so that's that drawer. I'll keep these up here actually. I'll, I'll try and keep it a little bit better organised. Um, yeah, that'll be alright there. And then put these markers at the side. And that looks a little bit better. Let's pop these back. I used to have the. Oh, the Crayola Super Tips. I got them at the very start of me doing any sort of adult colouring and I didn't like them so I passed them on. What else have we got? Uh, we'll move on to... We'll move on to the, the, the Tombos. There's all the rest of alcohol markers, I think. And there might be some water, water brush ones. So this is the... I think it's the 180 set, this. It's a bit dusty because I keep it underneath my other table but these are really really good for your pages that have got illustrations on the other side because they don't bleed through They're really nice and you get let's just pick a colour the tip on these is so fine that you can get into really tiny details I really enjoy using these but they do take me a little while and then you've got a fine tip on this side as well but again I believe that these are really good for Calligrapher, calligrapher <laughs> for that fancy handwriting that I can't do. But yeah, really nice pens these. They are super expensive. Super duper expensive these. Would I recommend these for adult colouring? Probably not. I was just uh, intrigued to be honest. And I think I bought one open stock. Where is it? It was like a gold colour. Yeah, there it is. Let me get it. I never do this as well. I bought this as an open stock and tried it and loved it and thought I'm just going to buy the whole set instead of buying it individually that will cost more so that's what I ended up doing. So the tombos can move now. I might do a page and, uh, with them and then go over the top with some colour pencils to show you. Uh, we move on to my one pack of water based uh, pens and these are by the brand Cullier. Now I did get these sent and I've used them a handful of times and there, there are the swatches. The beautiful on watercolour paper really really nice but again I would not colour directly onto the paper with these. I would colour onto the, to a palette and then pick them up like that. That's the best way that I've found using these but there's a nice selection of colours. How many is there? There's a 50 set in here and it came with this pencil case as well. Now these missing bits were uh, aqua brushes that I'm currently using. But yeah, you can use these directly into onto your colouring boots but they are a little bit streaky. Let me just show you, let me show you with a darker blue. I'll just go on the back of this. It should be alright. Well, I tell a lie, it's behaving now, but in the uh, like Create Space paper, or even some Hannah Carl's on pages, if I let that dry and then I go over the top, it is quite streaky, but I tell a lie, it's behaving on this watercolour paper. It's uh, behaving quite well. So yeah, that made me out to be a liar. <laughs> but they are the water-based markers. They're the only ones that I've got, apart from the... I think the Tombow water-based are there. I think they are, I'm not sure, they're not alcohol based. Uh, another set of uh, Crayola, Crayola, Pulia. Again, these were sent to me for review and I've used them a handful of times. I do think I'm going to pass these on to my niece who started colouring. I gave her some stuff the other week and I haven't spoken to my sister to know whether she likes them or not. I forgot to ring her and ask her. But yeah. Oh, they're the gel pens. Beautiful selection of colours and they're so bright, vibrant and pigmented these. But because I've got other sets that I use more and I know that these will be loved by my niece, I know that she'll absolutely love them. Uh, Laurie, you probably won't watch this but let me know if Ava wants these because they are really, really beautiful. It's just I don't use them. I've got all this stuff. I get sent stuff, I buy stuff and I don't use them unfortunately. And they come in this beautiful case as well. It is unfortunate. 
but yeah i'm going to put them to one side to pass on uh we have got oh hoo hoo no i did originally buy i think it was the 40 set of oh hoo hoo no my son's got them in his room in a fancy pencil case i've got a small set there's not 24 in here anymore because i've used quite a few of them up this is the brush market skin set and i really really like these the i wouldn't say they're similar to cold pits but they're probably the closest that i've ever found to a cold pick and you know what i've never noticed that there's a number on the inside though i've never noticed that but really nice alcohol markers i spend if i'm just doing let's say um a hannah Lynn picture i always tend to base it with alcohol markers and i spend so much time basing it with alcohol markers being super duper careful i spend more time with the alcohol markers than the pencil to be honest half of the time uh, we've got the pastel set i love this set absolutely love this set have i got the swatch chart in here i have so beautiful these colors now you're gonna laugh at me because i can't remember how many is in here i can't remember have i got the swatch chart in here i have let me just see if it says on here it doesn't but there's a lot anyway there's a lot there's a lot of markers in there and these go with these absolutely perfect you can see the really bright vibrant colors and lovely pastels and then some along that with your skin tones there is a couple of doubles with the skin tones that is a lot of markers i don't need any more markers but i love these these are my go-to ones and i've used quite a lot of them up to be honest i'm surprised that black is still going but yeah probably my favorite is the the pastel set i love them absolutely love them let's put them back to one side and they come in this really sturdy case they don't fall over i've never had an issue with this pencil case and it's just easier keeping them on the side here when i'm using them they're quite compact i know that they're not compared to these but they are compared to this next one that i'm going to show you because these ones are huge now i bought these lamouche markers before i bought the ohuhus i messaged ohuhu come on camera before i bought the pastel set the skin set and this set i just had the original Oh, hoo hoo markers this we're going on a couple of years ago here i messaged them on instagram and emailed them and said um i've heard a rumor that you're coming out with some brush markers can you just confirm that the rumor is true etc etc and they got back to me and said no it's not true so back then i thought the next best thing was these and i saw these on lovella's check lovella, lovella, lovella i can't speak lovella I saw it on her channel. Lovella's colouring. Lovella's colouring. Yep, and I thought, well, if I can't get the brush markers, I'll just have to stick with the fine tip and the chisel tip. So I did, and I bought these, and they were well used. There's a lot of colours missing from here because I've used them up. But there is so many markers in here. There's 168. Well, there's not 168. Nice. There's even some that's fell down the back. And I do still use these because there is some unique colours i have tried my best to organize them but the case that they came in is terrible i hate the case as you can see i let go and they just all fall down and merge together they're not like the old hoo hoo where it's nice and sturdy and fits together now these are like i said the chisel which i don't mind and then your fine tip as well and some of these are even i don't know why i've got them because i've used them up and not chucked them away but these were quite expensive as well when I bought them at the time. So another thing that I might pick a couple of colours out that I know that I want to keep and then pass them on, I think. Because I just love the, the Oh Hoo Hoo markers more. And I just hate this case. I hate it with a passion. Every time you try and put it back together again, it just irritates the life out of me. <sighs> See, they're all falling out everywhere. Yep. Give me the oh hoo hoo ones any day over these right there we go but i think that's all of my alcohol markers or markers in general shall i say i'm not going to include like like individual things because i think this video will be too long 
But anyway, I hope that you enjoy watching and having a nausea at my collection. I'm slowly but surely going through different things. What I want to keep, what I want to give away, etc, etc. But anyway, I will see you in my next video. Bye!